brown, lineless oval for a head, two isosceles triangles of the same color to each side of the head for ears, two smaller and darker triangles of the same shape for inner ears, an oval for a snout with two symmetric elliptical nostrils, two light gray tusks nestled below with a thick mouth beneath, and two perfectly circular dark gray dots for eyes. This is how I see the boar emoji almost every day of my life. For many, it's staring stoically to either side of the screen, but either way, it's an iconic visual of a wild boar. Today, I just want to talk about this emoji. First off, why boar? It's rarely used and has no common alternate meaning, unlike, say, the eggplant emoji, so what gives? Simply put, this emoji holds immense comedic value that the vast majority of the population has yet to exploit, and it could potentially become the next big emoji meme. Now, taken literally, it has little use, unless you live in the increasingly boar-infested American South, where Yanks deal with 30 to 50 feral hogs in their backyard on a daily basis. Hold up, someone's messaging me. Sphinx cats are the best breed. <clears throat> Say, that's a perfect example right there of good boar usage. Someone has a bad take, so you bore them. Grapefruit is the best fruit. Boar. My favorite game is Dota 2. Boar. Big Chungus isn't funny. Boar emoji. I'm a conservative. Boar boar. Schlant is cringe. Thumbs up emoji. However, it's a bit nuanced. It's not meant as a deadpan response to jokes akin to the Moyai emoji and it doesn't indicate laughter unlike the skull emoji, although all three emojis share some usage. Additionally, the boar emoji isn't the only emoji of its kind. Numerous other emojis emulate the vibe of the boar. In increasing levels of rudeness, there's cat, shark, wolf, bison, water buffalo, rabbit, dragon, boar, horse, ship, and tram. On one end, there's a silly, jovial cat emoji, and on the other end, there's a cold, abrasive, metaphorical you that is the tram emoji. On this scale, the boar emoji is most analogous to a bump against the shoulder, followed by a snide stare. Aren't you eager to learn all this emoji minutia? How else could you convey such complex information without the use of physical interaction or intonation? Now, you may well wonder where all of this came from, so strap in. Picture yourself in the distant time of late 2021. Slavery-enabling, profit-obsessed, pathological liar Elon Musk was recently named Time Person of the Year, and you're on the unending quest to find funny images on the internet. That's when, one fateful day, you come across this image. It's a meticulously crafted comedic masterpiece. It starts with the setup, your son has passed away. Based off this alone, we expect the recipient of this news to respond in somber mourning, shock, or disbelief. Then, punchline. Instead of replying with the expected, they send but one an emoji, a boar whose head is exploding in cartoon-like fashion. Not only should one never send an emoji in a situation like this, but the emoji in question has an intrinsically humorous expression and combines an unlikely pair of emojis. The boar emoji and the exploding head emoji. From this day forth, the boar emoji became an increasingly present force in my life, as over the next few months I saw an increasing amount of memetics involving this emoji and my idiosyncrasy of replying to people with the boar emoji was birthed. At points, my attraction to this emoji veered on the edge of obsessive, and at times, pious. Aww. To end off this video, I want to talk about the increasing importance of real life boars, especially in the US. Here's a map of US counties with boars by 1982, and here's that same map for 2022. Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Mississippi, and South Carolina have no county that lacks one of these beasts. Oklahoma only has four borderless counties, Louisiana has two, and Arkansas, sorry, I mean Arkansas. America explain! California and Texas all only have one. According to the Department of Agriculture, their population is estimated at over 6 million and is rapidly expanding, a quote more akin to dialogue in a zombie movie and quite worrying considering that the Department of Agriculture are the people who are supposed to stop the spread of boars. However, increasing boar populations are only a problem in America, much to the dismay of those pinko Europeans, and to Hassan Abi. America deserved 9-11, dude. Canada, Australia, Europe, South America, and China are all facing a boardemic. Due to a combination of urban sprawl, human relocation of boars, increased hunting, and global warming.
If you have any conception of boars as simply undomesticated pigs, it's time you rid of it, because they are strong, ruthless beasts whose increasing numbers pose a real problem to crops, humans, and ecosystems. Climate change is puny compared to the destruction these beasts will bring upon our planet, so be afraid and vigilant. For all you know, a boar is behind you as we speak. However, it wouldn't be a slant video without at least one what? stupid and or overly dramatic part. So on that note, please enjoy the short boar compilation set to Adolfrey Gubens Hall, more commonly known as In the Hall of the Mountain King.